Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree and we got a cool show for y'all. It's the Jesuit High School 28th Annual Fishing Tournament. And uh, we're in Metairie, y'all, in New Orleans. Really cool out here by the interstate. Um, this has been going on for a while. There's several different divisions. There's an adult division and a children's division. Then there's a five stringer. There's a big fish and a father and daughter. And they got a bunch of food. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking's going to start right about now. Tide line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Alright, y'all made it over to the way station, and I got the waymaster here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Chris Mills from Metairie, Louisiana. How long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this for about 10 years. Oh, wow, wow. Now, uh, for the people that don't know, tell us the different divisions we have. Okay. We have uh, two different divisions. We have over 18 and under 18. So we have kids and adults. And within each division, we have categories. We have redfish, speckled trout, flounder, red snapper, sheephead, black drum, and bass. And bass. Yeah, we asked, added bass a couple years ago. Okay. So for and the, y'all have some other additional we categories. We do. We do. Sorry. We have some specialty categories where we have the uh, biggest fish. The uh, best trout stringer, which is the best five trout strung together, and then we have a father-daughter. And father-daughter is basically just the best story that we can get out of a father and daughter duo, We're trying to up the dads bringing their daughters fishing. Yes, yes, that's pretty cool. Sure. Uh, have, have you got the fish in this before? Uh-huh, yeah, I have. Not this year, but I have before. Never won anything. No. You're from Jesuit? Did uh-huh, yeah, I graduated in 1980. 1980. Yep, had a son graduating in uh, 2015. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. So we looking, uh, how many people's come in so far? Uh, actually, we've only had one weigh in so far. Oh, so we're ready for all the big fish. To yeah, it usually takes them a little while. I say come in first and you get your name on the board. You might get knocked off, but at least you're on the board. There we go. You get a picture of it. Late, you might not make the board, you know. Hey, thanks a lot. You bet. Thank you. Thanks for coming out. All right, y'all. I made it over to the cooks. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm uh, Gary Koz Grunig from Koz is a higher hand. Now, uh, y'all got it smelling good out here today. What are y'all cooking? Fried catfish and fried shrimp. So that's what the shrimp cooking in here shrimp and that's the cooking. catfish coming out? Yeah, this is catfish that's ready. Pick it up, Jason. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, was a lot of people fry fish. What's your secret ingredient on some uh, fish frying? I have uh, uh, my home, my Creole se my seasoning that we make at the shop. Uh -huh. uh, I have William Perrin and eggs and uh, eggs. That's it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, this is tried and tested. Tell people where can they come and get your food. Because it's a higher hand. Uh, 6215 Wilson. Sounds good. Sounds like I need to go over and eat, too. Now, uh, who we got here? We got good help. What's your name? Jason. Jason? Um, You've been frying with him for a while? I've known him pretty much my whole life, on and off, helping him out. <laughs> He's a good cook. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> now, uh, how much fish do you think he'll cook out here today in shrimp? 150 pounds of fish and 75 pounds of those great big gorgeous shrimp right there. That is some beautiful looking shrimp. I gotta say, right there myself. <laughs> some good looking shrimp. What y'all put on the sides to go with this? Oh, uh, look, they got fresh homemade potato salad and homemade coleslaw. Yes, indeed. Hey, I don't want to stop you. Keep going. Thank you, brother. <laughs> okay, y'all made it over to the workers here. Let's get their names and where they from. I'm uh, Max. Ooh, I'm Max Grunick. That's my wife, Roz. 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 I'm Renee Seely. I work for. Kyle. And that right. causes my dad. So y'all a real family group out here that's doing this. Went to Jesuit, and that's how we started doing it. And so and my dad got him in Jesuit. So they. <laughs> All right. It's a real big family group. Man, y'all got it going on out yeah, here. Yeah, we so, got a, yeah. we got we got the Henry Ford, uh, you know, uh, assembly, line assembly line going. I like it. So everybody who's in the tournament gets a plate of food. Gets a plate, so we can uh, keep our socially distant uh, and be sanitary all at the same time. Awesome, awesome. Looks like y'all doing a fine job, and uh, I'm going to have to taste some later on. So uh, thank y'all. No yeah. problem. Thank, thank you. you. 
Okay, y'all have made it over to the chairman, Mr. Mike McMahon. How's it going? It's going great. We're excited about this year. Uh, this is a special year for a lot of reasons. Brother Dardis started this rodeo 28 years ago, and we lost him last year after a uh, wonderful life in the Jesuits as a brother, and his legacy lives on today. We're expecting a fabulous crowd. We have some delicious oyster shrimp and, and fried fish, and we got a lot of great giveaways. So you say it's been going on for 28 years. They may have beaten people who fished in this as a kid and bringing their kids back. We have, and I fished with one of them yesterday, the grandkids of the founders of this rodeo fishing it this year. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now, have y'all heard of some big fish coming in, or you got any stories coming off the water yet? You know how fishing goes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be a what story. I hear, what I hear in reality are maybe two different things. <laughs> now, 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 this is pretty neat, as you were talking about. Uh, this is not on location. You can go fish anywhere you want. When, when I was told I was the chairman 10 years ago because I suggested some changes, uh, one of those changes were to come back to the school facility so that you can fish wherever you want, whether it be an Empire, uh, Lafitte, Shell Beach, and then everybody comes back to a central location. So everybody is on a fair playing field. And what I didn't, what I didn't realize was going to happen is what it brought with it, and that's the grandmothers and the strollers and the wives and the grandfathers, and, and that's made it a real a real family event. And that's true, though. Most fishing tournaments, it's just the guys there doing their fishing thing and going on about it, but this is pretty cool to see the kids and the mom and pops and everybody out here. Hey, look like you got a good job going out here. Let's see who wins this thing. Well, it's still early, and we're going to have a big crowd before this is over with, so between that and our guest speakers, I appreciate y'all coming. Thank you. All right. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information, dctofla.com. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, Come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, got some fishermen here. Just brought in a big old giant fish. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Alex Grilletta from Harahan, Louisiana. Gwen Grilletta, also from Harahan, obviously. Now, what kind of fish is this? It's a red snapper. Red snapper. Where'd you catch it at? Uh, in Venice, down, down south. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a pretty big fish, bro. What, what, what did he bite? I mean, what'd you catch him on? Uh, little chunks of cut bait. Cut, cut bait. Oh wow, wow! Did, was there a bunch of fish? Were y'all catching a bunch? Uh, a few bites. Actually, some sharks came by and they started biting them off. So we got lucky with this one. Wow! You think that's the biggest fish you ever caught? Well, for me, it definitely. Awesome, bro. Good job. Hope you win it. Thank you. All right, so I got some more fishermen, y'all. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, Chance Latham, Louisiana. Scott Latham, Metairie. Paul Champagne, Metairie. Now, who's caught this big red fish right here? I caught it. How much did it weigh? Like 6.75, I think. Y'all got some other fishing, too. What else you got in there? Yeah, we did, we get, uh, did good on the sheephead, some uh, some other reds, some trout this morning. 
Uh, Chance caught the big the big sheep head and the big red. What part of the world y'all went in today? Uh, we're in Hopedale, end of the world. What was the best bait you had out there today? Uh, live shrimp. Is that the best? That's the biggest fish you ever caught? Uh, I believe so, yeah. All right. Well, good luck to y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all got some more fishermen right here. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, Colin. Colin. From? Uh, New Orleans. Andy. From uh, New Orleans, from Lakeview. Where would y'all fish today? We were fishing in Mississippi. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, uh, what did you catch these on? Worms, artificials, watermelon. Gotcha. Was there plenty bite out there today? Plenty of bite for us, yeah, yeah. We timed it right. Yep. All the Saharan dust made its way out of the uh, the area, so the fish were biting this morning. Is this the only two y'all kept? Uh, these are the only two we kept. We caught a bunch. We probably caught about 20 or so. Oh, wow, yeah. wow, wow. Yep. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. All right, y'all got some more fishermen. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, Captain David Alfonso from St. Bernard, Redfish Nation Charters. Lloyd Hawk, I'm from Lakeview. Augie Burner from Metairie. Gareth Burner from Metairie. And John Huck from New Orleans, Louisiana. Where y'all went to this weekend? Uh, we went down to St. Bernard out of Campos Marina, Shell Beach, Louisiana. Now y'all caught a whole different variety of fish. What, were the fish biting everywhere you went? Uh, pretty much. It was a slow bite. So we, we, we moved. We caught a couple fish. We moved. We caught a couple fish. And we didn't, actually didn't move too far either. So we were in brackish waters. That's why we have redfish, freshwater bass, and we have speckled trout and sheep's head. You caught some of these big dudes? Yeah. They were pretty tough to pull in, but once you got them, um, uh, he uh, got them. Um, we, he got the first one on the first day. And then he did see because kept on encouraging me to get because they knew I was going to get one and I finally got one in. All right, now that that should have took you a while to pull it in, huh? Yeah, it took a little bit. This was a, this is a great fish to land. He uh, he hit that bait and just went running. What what was the bait? Uh, dead shrimp. Awesome. Hey, thank y'all. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all got another fisherman here. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name's Drew Trey and I'm from Metairie, Louisiana. What, where'd you fish today? Uh, we fished in. Uh, Caught that fish in the Wrigley's this morning. Gotcha, Lake gotcha. Uh, what, what kind of bait? A live bait. Shrimp. Shrimp? Carolina rig. Well, yes. uh, was there a bunch of fish, or was no, it tough? No, not many fish at all. Um, and we've been killing fish like that there. And um, generally in the tide, it's not moving. And the tide was rolling. There was about, about eight-tenths of an inch of lunar tide, uh -huh. but a lot of wind tide. And so it was just tough. We caught a ton of sheephead, but uh -oh. that was only fish were weighing. So. Awesome. Well, good job. Anyway, thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks for being here. Really All right, y'all. Got some more fishermen. Let's get their names and where they're from. All right, Roland Wagus back from here in Metairie. Spencer Wagus back, also here in Metairie. <laughs> Roland Wagus back again from Metairie. Gotcha, gotcha. It's family group. Family, yes. where, where'd y'all go today? Out of Delacroix. What, what'd you catch that on? Uh, live shrimp. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, was there a lot of fish today? Not really. Not really. It was kind of tough. I think we caught about a total between the three of us, 11 redfish, um, and then and this nice one. So also caught some some, some nice catfish and stingrays. Oh, and, oh uh, yeah, you got to have that. Yeah, but we, we didn't bring those with us. We awesome. left them in the Gulf. Hey, <laughs> congratulations, y'all. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate it. All right. All right, y'all got some more fishermen. Let's get their names and where they from. Dominic Porras, and I'm from River Ridge. Uh, Sam Alonso, I'm from Prairieville. Uh, Patrick Smith from River Ridge. And Matt Forrest from River Ridge. You got some good fishermen here with you. Yeah, they caught them all, and they, they good. Now, what, who's got the drum? Who got the big drum? That's you? What he weighed? Uh, he was eight. Uh, eight? Like eight? He's in first place at eight point two. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. And the redfish, you caught it? How big was that? He was um, 5.55. All right. What'd you, what'd you catch that drum on? What kind of bait? Dead shrimp. Dead shrimp? And what would you use for bait? Um, dead shrimp. And you got the sheep head in there? And you, what kind of bait you had? Uh, dead shrimp. All right. Sound like that's the bait of choice right there. Hey, thank y'all, fellas. Appreciate it. All right, y'all got some more fishermen here. Let's get their names and where they from. Carl Giffen, Mattery. Melissa Leak, Mattery. Now, see, I see you on top of the leaderboard right now with the black drum. How much does it weigh? A little over 16 pounds. Where did you go fishing? Where did y'all go? Um, out of Hopedale. Hopedale? What what kind of bait were you using? Live. Live bait? Uh, was there a lot of fish to be had or, or not? Uh, 
caught a bunch. Not too many. Not too many. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I hope you stay up there and win. Congratulations. Thanks. She always outfashions fishes me. Every time she outcatches me. <laughs> Consistently. All right, y'all. Got some more fishermen here. We're going to get their names and where they're from. Uh, hey, I'm Brett Cassio, Cade Cassio, Brock Cassio, and Dax Cassio. Oh, you got professionals with you. Yes, sir. We're from, we live in Lake Charles, but I went to Jesuit, graduated in 93. Oh, cool. Cool. Where'd y'all fish today? Um, out of St. Bernard. Gotcha. What, what all y'all got weighing in? Just one sheephead is the only thing. We, we cleaned all our redfish, but the sheephead looked like he was a keeper, so we wanted to see what he weighed. And gotcha, gotcha. Hope y'all win something. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, y'all. I got some more fishermen. Let's get her name and where she's from. Lillian Stouter, Metairie. Where'd y'all go and catch that? Uh, Venice. What did it bite on? What'd you use for bait? Squid. Now, I see you got some other fish over there that's a little too big, I believe, to go in. That's a little more than 27 inches. Uh, yes, sir. What'd you catch those big fish on? I don't really remember, sir. Oh, you've been at it all day. Y'all been fishing all day. Yes, sir. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. All right, y'all made it over to the hydration crew, y'all. Let's get their names and where they're from. My name's Kelly Gegenheimer. I'm here in uh, New Orleans. Uh, volunteering with the Jesuit folks. My name's Alex, I'm from New Orleans. And I'm Norris from New Orleans. Now y'all got the great job out here. It is so hot, everybody's hot, it's muggy, and, and y'all making everybody happy with the drinks. You can't go wrong with that. That's it. That's it, everybody says, what's your favorite beer? They say cold. Keep up the good work. <laughs> All right, y'all right, got some of the folks out here trying some of the good food. Let's get their names and where they're from. Hey, what's up, I'm Connor Schwartz. I'm from New Orleans, and I graduated Jesuit in uh, 2019. I'm also Annie, um, also from New Orleans. The food's really good. Highly recommend. How is the fish, though? I've seen you trying it out. Delicious. It makes you want to go back and get another plate? Of course. As soon as you eat that, you can get another plate. Oh, really? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> hey, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies' night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Crawfish season is coming soon. It's time to move into the 21st century with the new high-performance cookers and super boilers. With our new state-of-the-art technology, the 120-quart pots come to a boil in under 7 minutes and the return boil in under 2 minutes. This fast return boil is key to perfectly cooked crawfish, all while using far less propane. Now, no more mushy crawfish using the old, outdated slow boilers. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement. It's bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. So you got another one? Yes, you are the flat tearing the fish up. <laughs> I want to go fish where you fish. Uh, well, Venice. Just go to Venice. That's Venice. where they got all the big fish. Yes, sir. What was that grouper weighing? 35. Wow. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, y'all. Look like we got some more fishermen right here. All right. What's y'all's names? I'm Reed. I don't think it's on. I'm Jacques. Where y'all from? We're from around here. I'm from Slidell. I'm from Mid City, New Orleans. Who caught this one? This was our, this was my dad who caught this one. Gotcha. Gotcha. What did he catch him on? Um, I don't shrimp, know. We were probably little, little shrimp, eight pound yeah. line and shrimp. Oh wow, yeah. wow. Where y'all went? Hopedale. 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 Yeah. Good luck to y'all. All right, y'all, we got another fisherman here. 
Oh, she pay it. But I'm actually uh, signing these in for other people. So, other people. So you didn't catch the sheep head? No, I did not. Gotcha. Where'd it come from, you know? Uh, yeah, it by the Wrigley's. Gotcha. My dad actually sent me to send it in for him. So. Gotcha, bro. Yeah. Good luck to him. Thank you. All right, y'all. got two more fishermen. Let's get their names and where they from. Wynn Shibler from Gretna. Luke Carlson. Where'd y'all fish at today? Shell Beach. Shell Beach. Y'all got some more in there hiding, I bet you. Sheep head, 5.85 sheep head, y'all. All right, he's moved up to third. I think he's got something else in there he's going to weigh, though. He's got some goodies in there. Let's see what he's got under that ice. That's fresh ice, too. Oh, we got a red. We got a red. What'd you... What'd y'all catch that red on? W-I-N. There it is, y'all. The fish are getting bigger and bigger, as a matter of fact, because uh, it's a nice-looking red fish, and it don't even make the leaderboard, so uh, somebody's going to win this thing. All right, y'all, made it over to the registration table, and I got the ladies doing all the hard work under here. Let's get their names and where they from. Denise Tarantino LaCour. I'm originally from Metairie, Louisiana, but I live in Destrehan. Gretchen Morris from Metairie. Carol Besselman from River Ridge. And I'm Amy McMahon from River Ridge. Married to the chairman. <laughs> All right. So you've been out here, you working for free today too, like everybody else, except you got to do extra work. That's right. Now, uh, what? For a year, probably. Oh, yeah. Two years. <laughs> What's the coolest thing y'all seen out here today, or, or, or what? What makes y'all come out here? You know, what's something that really? We really like seeing the current students come out and, you know, just seeing all the families hang out together. It's nice. And so hopefully they get a few winners, you know, trophy they got fish. Some, they got some pretty <laughs> fish over there. Now, everybody who registers, they get a ditty bag and a shirt. They do. They get a towel, a long sleeve fishing shirt, whatever other extra prizes that we have. We have door prize tickets, grand prize tickets, and... All right, y'all. Keep up the good work. Thank you. All right, I got some fishermen right here weighing in their trouts. Can I get y'all's names and where you're from? Uh, Chris Puckett. Hudson Puckett. Looks like y'all got some trout. Where, where'd y'all fish today? Wrigley's. Gotcha. Was it a good bite or not? Uh, it was pretty good. We caught 52. Wow. What'd y'all catch them on? Shrimp. You got it. So y'all going to wait a five in, see what we can get. Yes, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Let me get your name and where you're from. Uh, James Dykeman. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm from here, from Metairie. All right. Where'd y'all fish today? Uh, you know the names of where. I mean, in the Mr. Go around Hope Tail. You know, oh, wow. Shadow Hope Tail. Yeah. Uh -huh. How was the catch? Uh, I mean, not too tough. I mean, uh, sound like a fun trip, though. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good luck on it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Allie. You caught that redfish? Yes. <laughs> what, uh, how much was it? Uh, six eight five. Where'd y'all fish? Uh, we were out by the rocks. What'd you catch him on? Uh, my shrimp? dad's pole. Oh, oh yeah, shrimp, live bait, yeah. Fishing with live bait. Yeah. Y'all had a bunch of fish. Um, we had a decent amount. It wasn't yeah. great, but it was okay. Y'all had fun. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Y'all, we got another group of fishermen here. Who, who caught that one? That was you. Uh, yes, sir. What's your name? Blair Rittner. Where are you from? Louisiana, New Orleans. All right, that's a good fish right there. Y'all, they got a good mess of fish right here. Where, where'd y'all fish at today? Uh, we went out of Empire. Oh, wow, wow. Looks like y'all got a good mess, though. Oh, yeah, we did well. Look at that. What kind of fish would you call that one right there? A cobia. That's a cobia? Cobia. Well, he's got the cobia. <laughs> nice looking fish. Now, who caught that one? Well, you caught that one also? Yes, sir. Man, you teared him up. What'd you catch him on? What kind of bait? Uh, we're using some jigs. Gotcha, gotcha. That's a good big fish right there. All right, y'all, we got some more fishermen here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Hello, what's happening? How's it going? These are y'all's? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Uh, y'all going on a string or a trout right now? Is that what y'all working on? These are the kids' fish, so we we'll think we're going to run them on speckle trout at the bitches. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, this is 3-8. All right, Keith. All right, y'all, we got a load of fishermen in here. They have tore the reds up, red snappers up. Looked like y'all tore them off today, huh? We, we tried our best. That was actually yesterday. Yesterday was a pretty bad. Today was a pretty bad day, but yesterday we went out 25 miles. That was fun. That was really fun. Where at? Um, where did we go? Huh? Where did we go? Uh, oh, uh, out of Venice? Huh? Yeah, yeah, out, out of Venice. Venice. Yeah. Out of Venice? Yeah. yeah. Y'all had a good time catching? Yes, sir, we did. What's your name again? Cameron. Where are you from? Uh, Marrero. All right. Y'all, uh, what'd you catch them on? What kind of bait? Uh, tuna. Just? Some tuna and uh, some uh, squid. Cool, bro. Good luck. Thank you. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by You're today. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all, what a fun day uh, out in Metairie uh, in the middle of the city. I'm not too big with the cities, but here we are with John Ryan Stadium. And I'm going to tell you what, it's a nice place out here. That's not grass out there. That's artificial turf. Uh, the Bluebirds play here. Um, I would say there's about 200 people in this tournament. I got to meet some really nice people. Met some really good friends, uh, got to see some good fish, ate some good food, and I'd like to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.